the um, second topic of the um, social media part. Uh, oh. Yes, drop that one. Drop Kian, that one. Kian, Kian, Kian came in at the right time. Okay, Kian. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you lead with this one. Right, I'm gonna set up the press. I'm gonna set up the premise for you, Kian. Then I just want to hear your opinion on it first. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. So, do you believe? Because obviously, this is a topic that goes around a lot. Right. That social media um, affects a relationship. Right. So, my question to you is: Do you believe social media negatively? or positively impacts a relationship or do you think the social media presence of an individual that you may meet or come in contact with can leave a detrimental impact on your relationship with somebody so just to give you an example let's say you meet a, you meet your woman on whatever a social media app she has a large social president um social um I won't like social, to do anyway, what do you yeah. call it presence right yeah. she has a large social presence that's how you guys came into contact you talk you connect you vibe you're keeping it whatever you guys are like or however i don't know i don't care but do you think that it can negatively or positively impact a relationship it's a hard one. So do you it's think it's the social media or do you think no, it's no, no, the no. social media it's, presence? It's a hard one, isn't it? Depends, isn't it? If I met if I met her on social media, yeah, yeah, and then and then she's still on social media, yeah, it's not hundred percent choice, isn't it? If I met her somewhere else, she's not on social media, yeah, and then yeah. I'm with her, she's not on social media, she's like a down to earth, no, she's not on the phone, all that nonsense. Maybe I'll try that one. <laughs> I love that. He always calls it nonsense on the phone. Nonsense. <laughs> That's true. Maybe I'll try that one. On social media, social media just does affect relationship, in fact. Yeah, I really believe so. But obviously, not all women, in it. You get you get strong women, and you get weak women, in it. Right. So Do you think it's the same for guys too? You get strong men and weak. Oh women? yeah, hundred percent. I think it can in many ways. I think also with um, you know, if if like your girlfriend's got a strong presence on social media it's just it's a lot of it is about accepting that uh, you know that's her uh, job it's she enjoys uh, doing uh, and uh, learning to work with that of course he affects me i'm not gonna pretend of course 100 percent. like i said if i be a fit bird on social media i'm gonna be tempted <laughs> in it but i'm not gonna go there it's just for humans so yeah one of my guys just literally deactivated his social media it's instagram oh right. because of because he he gets according to him he said he gets um Distracted, not distracted. What's the word? He gets uh, key and used that word before. I've forgotten. What, like uh, temptation. There's a lot of temptations on that. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of temptations as well on, on social media. And I, I think, I think as well, thinking about this topic, oh, sorry, it depends on the level of if she's got a high following, you've got also a high following. Problem. I think it kind of balances itself out. No, it doesn't. Okay. It does. It does. It, it balances itself out. Balance it balance balance itself it, it balances itself okay. out because the reason why I said it balances itself out is because if you've got, let's say for example, you've got a million pound, I've got a million pound. Uh -huh. You're not going to look at me in a jealous way because we both have the same things. That's different ball game. But, but hold on, no, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. It's on, a metaphor, hold on. using the metaphor. It's the metaphor hold on, to. hold on. Okay. Same way, if I've got a million followers, you've got a million followers. The reason why I said it balances itself is because now you're on the same level, kind of. If she's got, if she's got a million followers, you've got two thousand followers or or less than a hundred thousand followers. They kind of. That's why I said that. That's why I said that. If 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 you both have equal numbers, it kind of balances itself out. But when one person has higher than the other, the level of the caliber of people that is going to be talking to that person that has more numbers is going to be different. Because now the DM is going to be full. Oh, it is going to be full. Hundreds. So it, it's now it's now up to you. Obviously, it takes a level of discipline, and I'm not going to lie to you. Even for me, that's even something I'm working on. I'm working on self discipline because you, you're going to get, especially if you're a guy and you've got high level of high level of um, social media, you're going to get uh, approached by a lot of guys. A lot of girls, yeah. and and I'll be honest with you, over eighty percent of guys don't have self discipline. Yeah, 
to be able to say, oh, you know, because when the, your DM is full but consistently, Peter. girls, 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 well, at the end of the day, you're going to be like, yo, let me, yep. let me sorry, sorry. go further with one of them. You understand? Mm. Similar to the, to, I'm not saying, similar to the girls, mostly, because obviously, guys as well be constantly sending them DMs, sending them DMs. Um, even you, even you that have 1,000 followers, you get a lot of DMs. Imagine someone that has 1 million followers. Imagine the amount of DMs they'll be getting. Also, it's about, you guys need to have a communication about regarding that and say, look, as I'm getting with you, these are some of the things I'm expecting. If the girl respects you, she'll be able to understand from that angle. But if you meet the girl on social media, you also need to understand that look, these are certain things I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting. These are certain things that I need to be able to be okay with. So yeah, because you can't meet her on social media and then tell her that oh you need to close your social media account because it's oh. not gonna work. Well, no, it's it not gonna work. That's that's <laughs> it's definitely not gonna work. So you also you need to understand what you're getting yourself into so that when he starts to show his true colours, you can't start complaining that oh I never knew. You know what I mean? Yeah, because exactly. you as well, you're also on social media as well, so you see what's going on. But it depends on, like, like already some people said already, it depends on how you use the social media. There's no way you're going to use social media, especially Instagram and stuff, that you're not going to look at girls' pics or g girls are not going to look at guys' pics because literally, it's just literally in front of you. But when you start to DM these people and DM them in a, in a certain way, then that's when it becomes an issue. But if you say, hey, how are you on, on social media? Mate, what's, what's the big deal? It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal, yeah. Like, yeah, man's got missus in there, yeah? And she's part of, she's nice, whatever, whatever, yeah? But there'll be other girls on DM, innit? Like, oh, whatever, 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 innit? It's up to you, innit? It's very important. It's up to you to you know, like, go that way, innit? It's easy to swing that way. Don't reply back, innit? Or block them off, innit? You can use it to that like, oh, yeah. You know there's a lot out. Yeah. There's temptation on that, this thing. I'm not going to lie. There's a risk, isn't it? But at the same time, you have yeah. to get strong enough. You know what? Nah, that's wrong. And you shut it down. Yeah. No, yeah, no, I agree. I think it's, it's, it is on how you guys, how you move yeah. on it. Because if you have an impressive social media, I'm going to use the word impressive, is in terms of numbers. Oh, so, number. or Or quality of content, the kind of content that is posted or whatever, right? you're going to get interactions, okay? If you have, because a lot of people, some, some people will use social media to create an avatar. You know, there's a persona that they want to be that they can't always be at home. Some people, they just want to show other people what they, who they really are as well. Do you know what I mean? And everybody's going to connect. Everybody's going to relate to something, right? I mean, if you're a kind of guy or a kind of girl who talks about, being cheated on 24-7, you're going to get a lot of people that are going to talk about, yeah, 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 me too, sis, or me too, king, or whatever, right? If you're the kind of person who talks about being 100%, whatever the world likes right now, you're going to get that, you're going to get a lot of interaction. And in those types of interactions, you're going to get some people who think they have the right to comment specific comments that are inappropriate whether you have a person in your life or not they feel like they can lay claim by commenting in a specific way and if you react to those kind of comments or you encourage that kind of behavior then yeah you're asking for the kind of headache or drama that you're going to get at home from your from your other half do you know what i mean or just from your friends like dude why are you allowing yourself to be part of that kind of situation for do you know but if you're, the kind, if you're the kind of person who doesn't acknowledge that kind of behavior or you do whatever you need to do to try and make it comfortable, then, you know, you, that should give you, I don't know if there was a point system points. I remember once upon a time, you know, just like your boy, um, I remember when my, my last partner was like, delete your social media. If you really love me, delete your social media. If oh, I, love, I was like, I'll, I'll, do do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do that quick. I don't care. <laughs> at the time at the time i didn't really care i was like whatever you know what i mean i knew i wasn't up to something but at the end of the day i i, I like peace over That's drama right. over something little so I, I thought fine do you know what i mean but then fast forward now into the future if if i know that who i am i'm not doing anything dodgy or stupid 
or disrespectful for me talk less of anybody that is in my life just for me on my own then I'm, I'm not going to go down that avenue of uh, I better get rid of it because I don't want such and such to be unhappy or I don't I'll want delete my lady to be pissed off I'll be like no you, you, you trust me like I trust you right so when I do something that makes you feel like I don't trust you then 100% Do you know what I mean? But until then, let's just keep I, I, it me, cool because me, you know what? If I have this someone govern. and I'm loving her, and it's clear, I'll delete it. It's not a biggie. Let me be honest with you on that one. Let me be honest with you. If a girl comes to me, tell me uh, if you love me, delete, delete what? So <laughs> after, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about it. Think about it from a logical perspective. Yeah, but the person I don't even think. Hold on, hold on, Kian. <laughs> I've, so I've got a million followers. It's I've got wait, hold to up. determine your love unless it's going to be detrimental to your health and your life. No, hold up. Then Ricardo, it's a different story, isn't it? Ricardo, That's you've right. got a million followers. If you've got if you've got a hundred followers on your on your social media, yeah, hundred percent, delete that. Hundred <laughs> percent, delete that. Don't even waste time. Don't even waste time. She doesn't even need to ask you that question. Delete it. But I'm talking yeah. about when you've got impressive, impressive social media, and someone now tells you to business. delete it. Nah, listen, no, 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 no. Listen, definitely. You have to start thinking logically. Number one, number one, mm -hmm. for you to have an impressive social media, the amount of years it took to build that page. Mm -hmm. And plus, there are also other benefits as well that you're getting from that social media page. So mm -hmm. to just delete it and then start from scratch, nah. You gotta think logically, man. Don't even uh, just think about emotionally here. Yeah? Uh, it's not as it's not as easy as yeah. I'll just delete it because I love you. No, no, no. There needs to be a sense of reasoning in there. There needs to be a sense of logic for someone to have a, a, a five hundred thousand plus social media. Guaranteed, guaranteed. There's a lot of sponsorships. There's a lot of things coming in. Right. You ain't gonna just. This is on the basis, but this is also on the basis of you are not moving mad. So it's not like you're you're linking on a slide and you're saying, "Nah, man, I've got you know fifty k." No, 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 no. Like the, the part that I was doing. Solely on the fact of yes, this is solely on the fact of this is gonna benefit my life and our life because of the. Can I say what I'm coming? What can I'm I say back of this? Because, you know, there are some people out there exactly. who will be moving mad underneath that. And you'll be like, oh, I'm, I'm promoting, but at the same time, they're moving No, 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 no. Hold, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up. If you see that kind of level, like you already said, which I think a lot of people have said already, mm. if there's trust there, because what what's happening is with a lot of these girls these days, there's or trust. guys, and guys. Yeah. They, they, what they do, what they do is they constant police, police, what my guy's on on social media, who is he talking to, what pictures is he like, what, uh, it's like, yo, just find a job, man. go and do it, something, you know what I mean, if, they, if that level of, sorry, uh, Alex, if that level of trust is starting to deteriorate because of one or two reasons, then yeah, of course, but like when people have said, of course, is how you move and respond, but obviously, if, you, if, if what you're doing in the background is you're going and Replying to people's messages, obviously. Then I don't. I'm not in support of that. I'm not in support but, of that. Right but now. for someone, but so for someone to wake up okay. in their right thinking sense and say, "Oh, if if you love me, I'm a million followers. If you love me, delete my." Listen, that's oh, the thing. I'll just pack. I'll <laughs> Kian, Kian, I'll just pack a bag. I'll just put it outside. Like, look, <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice day. No, no, no. Don't even waste time. Bro, I don't love bro, you anymore. Bro. I don't love you. For a woman to say delete it, she must have some kind of trust issue, isn't it? Full stop. A woman, yeah, no, somebody. Hold on, Alex I'm going to put up with like Yeah, let, 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 yeah. Kieran, Kieran, let on, Alex, Alex, let Alex speak, bro. Alex yeah, want to speak. Yeah. Alex want to speak. Go on, Alex. I was just going to say, see, for me personally, for a girl to just say, I mean, I suppose she does, she will have some form of trust issues, but for her to outright say, if you love me, delete your social media. No, there's more than that. I'm In my using, mind, that's just... I'm just using the... If you love no, me, no, extreme, right? Ricardo, Ricardo, so Ricardo, you've used, you've used it, Ricardo, you've used it, Ricardo, you've used it. Let's go on that part. Let's go on that part because <laughs> this, this, listen, sorry, Alex, yeah, this will give people confidence and just come out with rash statements and say, Oh, if you love me, delete, delete you. I'm gonna delete you first before I delete my social media. <laughs> Well, no, I'm the same. I'd be yeah. the same. Because well, at the end of the day, like, that's just to me. It's just manipulative behaviour. And whether I'm big on social, media, if she's going to say that about my social media, for example, what's to stop her doing that about my drumming? 
because like you know for example with being a musician i'm going to be out and about a lot during the evenings you know and that might be like a girl's only time to see me for example or you know it might mean that i've got to travel a lot and she might think okay he's not spending enough time for me with me so she might may have to say the exact same thing if you love me quit your drumming and i'm like do you know what i'm saying you know, if she's going to say that about my social media, what's to stop her doing that with other things that I'm doing in my life? So I would, in that in that instance, I would just say, look, I'm sorry, but we're done. If that's the outlook you have. But I think going back to what you were saying, Mr. CV, about, um, you know, the distrust thing on that part, it's almost important that they communicate that as well. And that they say, look, I'm feeling a bit uneasy about this. Can we just, um, look, can we sit down and have a chat? Because communication, I mean... It's, su it's such a key thing because at the end of the day, like uh, the amount of ish relationship problems that, you know, my friends talk to me about and communication is the one thing that their partner is not doing. It's the most important thing in any situation, in my opinion, mm. is to just, you know, communicate. And if there is something that they're doing that they're not quite happy with, then, you know, maybe they can work on that. But obviously to delete it altogether, that would not be the option. I believe in what you're saying, Alex. I agree. I agree with what you're saying. Um, it can be seen as a form of manipulation or coercive controlling in a way, which I get. Um, some think not all things can stem from that. I know there are some things which can stem from triggers from the past. I, I can remember for myself being in some kind of situation which was about um, a girl having male friends, for example. And I remember being burnt in uni, you know, over one of my, I won't say my first love, but somebody who I, I felt like I fell in love with in uni. And she had a male best friend. And, you know, because I had a female best friend, and I don't know how I am with my female best friend. Nothing's ever happened. I just yeah. assumed it's the same situation. But then later on, I found out that, no, this guy was moving to her on the slide because me and her were having issues. So then I remember from I remember from that having an issue when my kids, when I met my kid's mom and she had loads of male friends. Do you know what I mean? And I remember thinking, yeah, of course. well, now, nah, man, because the last person who said he's just my best friend ended up them being boyfriend and girlfriend and getting married. Do you know what I mean? So how do I know you're not going to go through the same, how do I know the same situation is not going to happen there? So yeah. I know sometimes it can come from a place of trigger. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. But I, but I also knew that that is, it's not for me to put it on that person. It is for me to go away and, and work on that within myself. And exactly. Be like, okay. Yeah, one million percent. Yeah. This is an issue. Either don't date her, period, because she's got male friends, or yeah. if I say I want to date her, let her know that this is this is the fear and this is why I've had this problem. Absolutely. But I also go back and work on myself and not allow it to always be an issue in the relationship. Like you said, people have got past trauma from relationships or anything else they may have been through. And from it anything can, in the past, yeah. Yeah, and it can easily, you know, come into like new relationships and so on and so forth. But I just think it's important that, you know, you know that it's something you need to work on. And that you, you acknowledge that and you don't kind of push it onto them, if that makes sense. And just, but just still communicate to them that you've got this fear. Also, I wanted to say as well is this, this social media thing, obviously, that's also another reason why people prefer to go with someone that also does social media because they also have that level of understanding that, look, these are some of the things that happen on social media. You understand? Like if you yeah. if you're not on social media, you might find certain things weird. Like, oh, why is this person always on TikTok promoting this? You know what I mean? When they should be spending time with, you, you know what I mean? And a lot of the time, it's about communication. A lot of the time, people look for easy way out of things. When I say easy way out, people look for the most. Oh, if I just delete the social media, that's gonna solve the sort of the situation. Half of the time, it doesn't even solve the situation anyway. It's the beginning of the problem. Because then uh, that person that, that is the beginning of the problem. So if you don't have that communication from the beginning and speak about, look, these are some of the things that we're going through. And I'll be honest with you as well, when it comes to communication, a lot of people, let me be honest with you, a lot of people don't know how to communicate. That's the biggest truth. A lot of people do not know how to communicate. People need to go and learn how to communicate. Because 
Because let me be honest with you, I'm gonna go back to that deleting of that social media because I'm not gonna lie, that part touched me. That part touched me. That part touched me. I'll be honest with you. Because I'm still thinking about it. Look, look, let me tell you, guy or girl, guy or girl, use your brain. Nah, let me I have to go on camera with that so that people can see. People can see. Nah, nah, listen, you man, you man open me up today. Listen, guys or girls, wherever you are, use your sense. Use your sense. Don't don't just go in there. Oh, eh, oh, I love you. I love you. Don't leave your sense. Use your brain. Someone come up and say, "Oh, you love me." People that tomorrow they can change. They might love you today, and then tomorrow they say, "Oh, you know what? I'm tired of it." They get bored, didn't it? Yeah. They get bored. Cool. They get bored, and I'm tired of you. I knew being the being the being the goat <laughs> you are. You or be the be the person you are. No, you you went to delete your social media. She leaves you tomorrow. Now you're now crying. I'm not saying if you don't, if you don't, if if you truly you like the girl, you're saying don't be mumu because you love somebody. Don't be mumu. No, 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 no. Use your sense. Use your use your brain that God has given you. Add some logical oh. reasoning to it. Obviously, put some love into it. Put some emotion into it. But you also think as well because, like I said. People that are growing these social media pages or people that are doing a lot of these things, it does take a long time. It takes years of doing that. And and if you look, it's quicker to delete things than to build things. Deleting only takes about 10 seconds. Building it, to build it takes again. 10 years. Wow. Yeah, you think the way I'm campaigning about my YouTube channel to people like uh, Liz Truss and uh, Rich Sunak, you think I'm just going to fall that way? <laughs> No, nah, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's be, let's be, let's be real here. So the thing is, is that's why, that's why certain people they say, look, go with people of your class. Sometimes I agree with that because obviously, if you're a millionaire, if you go with someone that's a millionaire, some certain problems you might face that someone is not a millionaire is is a bit eradicated because you don't have to explain certain things. So if you're a social media person. Also, might as well go with a social media person as well. But at the end of the day, they need level of communication and trust as well. You're going to trust that person that when they are on social media, they're doing the right things. You can't exactly. monitor every single thing that someone's doing. It's impossible. No. It's impossible. Exactly. If I have a girl and she's in the middle of 10 guys, if I'm at work, I ain't stressing myself. Oh, oh, why is she doing with these 10 guys? No, you're just killing yourself for no reason, man. Because I trust the person that she's going to make the right decisions. And because I trust her, I don't stress myself. And if people say, well, you don't get jealous. And then, Why would I get jealous? Because I trust. I trust the person I'm with. You know, Do you understand if, what I'm saying? If, you don't tr if it's so, not at that point where you don't trust them at that level, then it's like, why are you even with them? Listen, any, yeah. any, any person, if look, man or woman, if you stress yourself <laughs> over the other person, you're just injuring yourself for no reason. Once that trust is there and the honesty is there, don't, 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 don't stress yourself. Don't give yourself a necessary day. Don't take unnecessary policy tomorrow and I propose it for no reason. That's so true. I agree. I agree as well. I agree. And you know, and you know what? Sometimes what? you, you I, I, I can agree because I'm talking from experience. I've had that feeling where I have had headache, where I am just worrying about what is she doing? all the time killing myself do you know what i mean for all i know she could be at home just watching tv but i'm killing myself because of something else that is not in my head because obviously we we tell ourselves stories in our head all the time whether it's good or yeah. not but when you when you learn that listen man if, you, if you're gonna move mad you're gonna move mad you know expect people to be people then no matter what they do it shouldn't frustrate you too much yeah. and if it gets to a point where it's getting too much for you then just Pack up your stuff and go. Yeah, Don't exactly. Go, exactly. Just take each other and go go your separate ways. I got a friend that's going through the war we're talking about right now, isn't it? Man wants to pick me. Okay. Let's go to McDonald's. Go to McDonald's. His girls left him. This is that. Man want to tell me come with me quickly up the road. I've gone up the road with him. Next minute, I don't know how I got to the alleyway. I'm walking with him. He's telling me, hey, "What's wrong, mate?" He goes, "No, I just want to make sure there's another man in the house." That's creepy, bro. Don't do that, isn't it? That's, 
No, listen, listen. Life, life is stress. Oh, sorry, guys, man. It's not even as stressful as it is. Life is struggle enough. Life is stressful yeah. enough. And now you wanna, you wanna, you wanna. A lot of the problems we have is self-made problems. We give us all problems for no reason. We love creating unnecessary problems. Going back to the topic here, yeah, no. this social media thing obviously is a big thing. And the reason why I said it's a big thing because a lot of us, all of us are all on social media through podcasting and all this stuff. And it's something that we have to, might have to think about. For me personally, I don't want, I would prefer if my, if my girl is not out there like that. I'd rather be out there because the reason is I'm saying this is because, for example, Obviously, the bigger you get on social media, the more haters you're gonna face. One hundred, you know what I mean. So, for me, I'd rather all the hate come to me than get a person I'm with. You understand what I mean? I'd rather get, I'd rather all them give me all the hate and start involving her in in as well. Do you, you get my point? So, for me, I rather, I rather she just be in the background. To be honest with you, but also if she is. If he is social media kind of stuff as well, it gives me that encouragement, that support as well. Do you know what I mean? That someone's there with you, supporting you through as well. So it's a it's a very tricky one. It's not a straightforward answer, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's definitely not. It is a tricky one. And I think, and I think you know, because you talked about you know keeping her in the background, and I do think that is the right decision. I mean, I've seen it so many times on here. You know, people they get into relationships and they you know they actually meet through social media. They'll put like a video of okay. them. See and it just causes so many issues for them, and you know they're. I mean, they're up now, and so much stuff has been spread about the two of them, and it's just all gone tits up, and it's caused so much issues for, them, for both, like for them both, and it's just if they just you are definitely best off if you are big on social media, keeping your relationship in the background. I think yeah, keep it away from social media straight up. Absolutely, one million percent. 